We live? We recording? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Old Five Dynasty, and we in the building. Actually, we in my, my little studio, you know what I'm saying? Here chilling. And I have a nice little topic to talk about today. The media. <laughs> we got, we're going to talk about the media, man. I'm not going to lie. I be getting tight. And it's not like these people be talking about me. I mean, not yet, at least, you know, old5dynasty.com, it, it's starting to do its thing, but it ain't blew up yet, you know, it didn't even launch yet, really, to be honest with you, it's there, though, you can go sign up, though, but the media, I have three problems, or, like, three entities, or, like, two people and company, organizations, Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith. And then the companies that they work for. Skip Bayless. He is too disrespectful. I'm not even going to hold y'all on that. That man is way too disrespectful to other grown men on national television. How are you getting up there on national TV? So you know how many people see that, right? Disrespecting these ball players. Left and right, calling them out their names. Like they don't have family. Like they don't have children. Like they don't have siblings. As if they don't have feelings of their own. And getting away with it. Which is crazy to me. You don't see nobody disrespecting Skip Bayless. Going out there on national TV every day and calling them this and calling him that every day or every chance that they get whenever a topic arise comes up about a specific sport or a specific team there's disrespect to skip Bayless like that nobody I, at least i don't see it i haven't seen it but any chance this individual gets just basically demonizes other individuals on this earth and it's crazy to me I thought when we were coming up in grade school, they told they told us to be nice, be courteous, be kind, you know, be generous, think about other people's feelings, um, filling buckets, and you know what I'm saying, and not taking you know what I'm saying stuff out of other people's buckets. Like, so how did we go from that to an individual like Skip Bayless being able to sit on national television? This is TV, the world seeing it, and call somebody out of their name. Or even be able to show that you have a disgust for somebody else on national TV. How is that even allowed? I, I don't understand how that can be portrayed on television. And especially on these networks. Like, isn't Disney one of them? Like, Disney, children, we love children. They're the greatest thing in the world. But doesn't Disney run like... ESPN and all that stuff. So how is you no know, Stephen A. Smith able to go in there and talk? You better show up to work. You better show up to work. You better show up. Like how you will get paid? Make sure not show up to work. How is he allowed to do that? And especially to minorities. Straight baffles me. I don't understand how could a man get up there and scream, howl, and yell. And yeah, so what? You might have read a couple books. You probably, you know, you, know you, you did journalism for uh, X amount of years. But how does that give you a license to get up there and dox people, especially when you're doxing them on national television, which is going to take away their money? Why are you doing that? What's the purpose of it? What is the real reason behind it? Because you're not really telling, you're not saying the real reason. What you're doing is, you're doing is living off of the system. So what Stephen A. Smith does is, he uses the system to attack these individuals. So what do I mean by that? It's quite simple. The system that we live in, that we're basically forced into at birth, 
It's like, you have to get up. You have to find a job. You have to work a nine to five. You have to listen to a boss. You have to have somebody over you. Going through grade school. Oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, you want to be a fireman? Oh, yeah. Learn how to do a, be a fireman. And make sure you go and apply for a job. You know what I mean? Get an intern. Then apply for a job. Work under somebody else. So, this is the system that he uses in his argument. So, whatever happened to somebody waking up and not wanting to go to work that day? You mean tell me that's not possible? You mean tell me somebody has to go to work every single day? Why? Just to keep this engine going? But why? We have that's why we have millions and gazillions of people on this earth, man. You know, they put all this all this on your back and forcing you to do something every single day. Like people are not supposed to get tired. Just because, let's say, hypothetically speaking, Kyrie Irving doesn't want to go to work a couple of days or maybe a week or whatever. But well, maybe he's tired. It's, it's normal. It's human being stuff to get tired or get tired of doing something. Just because he played basketball and get paid, to, get paid to play basketball, he might get tired, get tired of playing basketball for months on end. Or at that specific time, he might get tired. You know what I mean? Just, they might say, oh, well, he gets tired more. But so what? But maybe at that time, he didn't want to play ball or he wants to spend time with his family. So why you got to victimize him for that? Just because he's not, quote unquote, falling in line in the system. So you're using the system as a way to dox these individuals when it comes to them, you know what I'm saying, getting money or their image or how the image is being portrayed. They don't go on national TV and dox Stephen A. Smith countless times over and over and over again. This is the problem. I'm going to tell you right now. Here's the problem with Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless and all these other puppets that follow behind them that's learning the way or creating. Whenever you say something to somebody three times, it sticks with them. So every time you say, there's pepperoni in that pizza, there's pepperoni in that pizza. Yo, there's pepperoni in the pizza in the kitchen, y'all. By the time you say it three times, now everybody in the house knows that there's pepperoni on the pizza in the kitchen. So when they walk in there, they're going to be expecting pepperoni and a pizza. To, and to reverse that, you got to say something uh, nine times. So it's three times the value. So you got to say something like nine times to get it back out, out of their head. Yo, my bad, y'all. There was, there was no pizza. pizza there was no uh, pepperoni and a pizza. I'm sorry, y'all. And you say it that one time, and somebody walk into that kitchen, they're going to be expecting that pepperoni to be on the kitchen. To be on the kitchen. You're going to be expecting the pepperoni to be on the pizza inside the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I had to drink some water on that. that one. <laughs> mm. Ah. Ain't nothing like a good cup of water. I'll just take a sip. I ain't going to drink the whole thing in front of y'all. But to get back to what I was saying... You, it's harder to reverse the effects that they're putting on these athletes. And they're not only athletes, they're individuals on this earth. You know what I'm saying? They're mothers and their fathers. Right? They don't really attack the, the female league as much. They always attack the men. But I have to put it out there because there's, there's, there's parity. It's equal. You know? There's women athlete and there's men athlete. But... All the years of journalism, and that's what we've come to, is people attacking people. Think about the context. Stephen A. Smith throws out phony and fake kind gestures. Oh, I told you, he's a bona fide athlete. Like he's a he's a he's a he's an amazing athlete. Like he he is a superstar. He's a, he says all oh, like he has that down pat he has that whole i can't do it. i can't talk like him but he has this whole thing down pat whereas he breaks down how wonderful a person is but he says it the exact same way every single time so this it's just basically just thrown out there it's not genuine but then after he spills all that stuff then he comes in here attacks and attacks and attacks because he's trying to bring the people down if it was strictly between the numbers and he really talking about stats and stuff that you've seen on the floor and that's it, 
I'm okay with that. Basketball is basketball, football is football, baseball is baseball, soccer is soccer, and there's a lot of other sports out there. But when you start going into like the personal stuff, this is personal. When you start saying like, oh, you're not showing up to work, I wouldn't pay him no money. Blah, 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 blah. That's that's personal. That's that's degrading. That's disrespectful. You don't need to say that. That those conversations happen behind closed door between that person and their boss. They're, you don't think the boss already spoke to that individual say, hey, you know, you show up to work late. We're going to have to let you go. We're going to have to do something, this or that. They have that conversation behind closed door. Why do we need Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless to dox people on national TV? We don't need it. You know, you don't need it. It's not, it shouldn't even be there. Brings me to my next point. How is Disney allowing that? Disney, you're supposed to be all about the people and all about the children and uplifting people. How are you allowing these individuals, these grown men, to go on national TV and to say one bad thing? They shouldn't even be allowed to say one bad thing. Is ratings that important to you? Or is it to slam on these individuals and to knock down their pay so you don't have to pay them as much? Is that more of a... Are you still trying to get those gazillions, trillions of dollars? How much money is enough money? And, I mean, God, God, these companies are so greedy. It's kind of crazy. I don't understand how, how, like, how much you need. Like, literally, how much money do you need? You know, the ratings, uh, it, it, that's it. It's all about ratings. It's not about these individuals, you know what I'm saying, their feelings. I, I, I guess that's what it is. Hey, your athletes, it's not, about, it's not about you and your feelings. It's about how much negativity they can throw on you to dox you, to take away the, the big check, and to also bring in the ratings because negativity sells. And I'm a prime example of that. You know what I mean? I dropped uh, this record and this other visual dropped this record and the views went crazy through the roof. You know, I could talk positive about that, that individual and this person could talk positive about me and they won't, the ratings won't go to the roof and just be like, oh, you, you got a hundred views. Or, mm, that's it. You know what I mean? So I know that the negativity sells. You know, all, all of my videos that, that were, were controversial, I don't think they're negative, they're just controversial. They do numbers. You know what I mean? But then the ones I just do regular, they don't do numbers. So negativity, it just, drive, it just motivates and moves the world, which is a crazy thing to me. It's like... I don't understand why we live off of that. Like, what's in our minds and our bodies uh, that we have to just go towards all the negatives? Oh, some, oh, somebody just got knocked out. You see the whole crowd run. Where? They all jet over there. You know what I mean? So, but you're Disney, though. I don't understand how Disney and, and what's the other network, uh, Skip Bayless and on, Undisputed, whatever. I don't care, to, to be honest with you. They don't, they don't pay me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man. We need to get away from this. Uh, maybe we should just stop, stop watching, stop support. I don't know. But I just don't like how these individuals get away with doxing, flat out disrespecting, and making boatloads of money off of it. Now, and then, you, then you will go and say, oh, why did that person go and, you know what I'm saying, shoot up this place or do that or go upside up somebody's head and blah, 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 blah. You want... You want to know why? It's because of what they do to you. It's how they make you feel. It's how they degrade you. How they, how they step on you. Which is crazy. I, I can't. It's, 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 I tell you, it's not the life I, I signed up for. I mean, I, but it's the life that is, it's around us. How could you get away from it? Ah, sorry, I needed that water right there. But... How can we get away from this craziness? I don't really see how, unless the networks change. And I'm, I'm actually pretty um, happy that you got something called people starting this new media now. And hopefully the new media will turn into the old media. Because the new media is supposed to stay straight on just the sport and stuff like that. And really help the athletes out. But the old media, watch him. You can look, go look, look at um, people like Kendra Perkins. You could see how he's following in the footsteps. You know what I'm saying? Look, you could, I could just name a bunch of them, actually. They all follow in the footsteps. I watched the show. I watched ESPN. And every show that came on ESPN, like, like two days ago, they were all disrespecting Kyrie Irving. Oh, he's not going to show up to work. <laughs> they all laughing. The women and the men. All of them. 
They were all, there was, it was only one person that was sticking up for Kyrie Irving. And that was Jay Williams. Jason Williams. Only person. I, all the shows on ESPN. Blasphemy. Anyway, this your boy, Old Five Dynasty. I just had to get that off my chest. And I, I hope it stops. I don't think it'll stop. But it, it's, it's crazy, man. The doxing is real. Disrespect is real. It's blasphemy. I'm out of here. Crazy.